Members of the Free National Movement celebrating 20 years today since the party's first term in office. Just hours ago, the opposition party held a series of church services here in the capital, Grand Bahama and Abaco, marking its 1992 general election victory. Former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram is highlighting some of the accomplishments of the Free National Movement over the past two decades. Former Prime Minister and Free National Movement leader, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, is commending the party's leadership for safeguarding a free and democratic Bahamas for future generations. Mr. Ingram lamented that the party mourns the untimely death of National Chairman and former Member of Parliament for the Golden Isles constituency and former Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, Charles William Maynard, during this anniversary. Mr. Ingram says that Maynard represented the youthful and dedicated energy that has made the Free National Movement a wonderful reflection of the Bohemian spirit. Mr. Ingram Ingram highlighted his party's efforts in government, including the introduction of local government, public sector reform to reduce bureaucracy and increase efficiencies, transformation of the police and defense forces, and customs and immigration departments. Reformed and modernized national laws rationalized the customs tariff structure, reducing both the number and levels of duty rates, computerized the public service, put in place tamper-resistant electronic passports and immigration permits, and launched the e-government portal. Regarding financial services, Mr. Ingram outlined that that free national movement codified a transparent national investment policy, further incentivized Bahamian ownership in the tourism and manufacturing sectors, created the Securities Commission and the Bahamas International Securities Exchange, or BISICS, and facilitated expanded land and home ownership. Over in Grand Bahama, the former free national movement government facilitated the development of a modern container transshipment port and further increased diversification of the national economy through the development of a ship care and repair industry in Grand Bahama. Mr. Ingram's release further detailed accomplishments in education, culture, health, national insurance, the environment, air and ground transportation, the national stadium, and the new Providence Road Improvement Project. The release by the former Free National Movement leader indicated that the FNM is grateful for the opportunity to serve the Bahamian people and looks forward to the next 20 years of service.